matter what happens, you mustn't leave. I need to find Virgil. I promise I'll be back. I know this is hard. You must listen to me. Be a big boy. A man, huh? So why is it on fire? Return. You must run. By yourself. Alone. You must change your name. Forget your past and start a new <laughs> He life. totally didn't do that. As someone else. A new beginning. Virgil! Virgil! Wait. So the house is on fire. And your solution to protect one of your children is seal him in a closet. Right. Mother of the year, I guess. Well, still a better job than Casey Anthony. Ha <laughs> ha, relevant. Oh, for a second there, I thought you were going to shish kebab me. I know how stubborn you can be. I thought it might be the only way to wake you. What day is it? The 15th of June. Uh, a month? <coughs> Uh, no wonder I'm so stiff. Right, sunshine. Now put a fire under it. We gotta get going because that annoying pimple Nero is making a beeline for Eurus and if he gets there, it's gonna hit him. It's gonna <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> hey, this is my gig. Leave Nero out of this. Dante doesn't take shit from anyone. If you could defeat Eurus, then I never would have dreamed of using that child. Yours in is much stronger than we ever could have imagined. Lots of plot. Not a whole lot of story, I guess. Oh, hey, it's Trish and Lady. Oh, it stinks in here. I know. Smells like hot garbage. This is far worse than I thought. There's no crime in turning tail, V. These things might be a little too much for you. You're right. I'll leave the rest to you. What? 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 Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> My, my, V. All the way down here and turning tail, really? Huh? One must always have an insurance policy. Who was that guy? Can't believe he just ran. No one special. Come on. <laughs> no one clean special. Up this garbage. I could never figure out what the hell that was on the back of her rocket first launcher. First serve on the targets, right? Music to my ears. Hurry up, Dante. It, it looks like explosive armor, reactive armor on a tank, but Guess I get to see it with my own eyes. Hmm. If it really is you. So yeah, I guess I get to play as Dante now. Which I guess it wouldn't be a Delphi May Cry game if you didn't. Did that guy really do this? Well, no accounting for taste. <laughs> He's touching. Oh, right, he has the sh Okay, left trigger changes Ebony and Ivory. And, uh... That's not Stinger. Ah. I'm gonna buy all new skills as him, aren't I? Yeah, let's get that shotgun out. No, I wanted to get this. Wait, what? Oh, okay. What, what did the trickster one do? The trickster was. Oh, because it's on auto. There we go. Where they? Oh, okay, yeah, there he is. Oh, 
That's not what I want to do. <laughs> okay. I think the tricks... The styles carried out. Right, he has a devil trigger. <laughs> I should leave it on auto again so it puts on a good show. So off topic, but I was um, the other day, uh, actually earlier today. Could be I never actually watched Patriot Games um, with Harrison Ford, and um, it, it's so damn different from the book. Just oh. Is he really? Oh, it's a giant lizard. Oh, fun! Definitely lives up to his name. He looks. Yeah. Well, oh shit! Ah, 
good to see. <laughs> we could break dancing kicking his ass. <laughs> yeah, we'll do it on auto, what the hell. I care more about the story than actually proving I'm a decent gamer, so I know I'm not, so fuck it. <laughs> Especially games like this. Yeah, it kind of, it kind of irks me. I mean, if you've watched my Division stuff, you know I'm a huge Tom Clancy fan. It really irks me that there hasn't been a, you know, I guess a very accurate Tom Clancy movie. Um, Things gonna close if I don't hurry. Novel made into a into a movie, but I mean they are kind of wordy and they go into a lot of the details. But that's what I like about it. Ah shit. I guess the closest one would probably be Hunt for Red October, but Alec Baldwin's a terrible um, Jack Ryan. I mean, this is probably the first time this is ever this sentence is ever going to be uttered in history, and probably never again. I will admit that Alec Baldwin was better than Harrison Ford. Ooh, a little bit slow down there. I mean, Harrison Ford is a complete wrong choice for uh, Jack Ryan in was two of the movies, Patriot Games and Clear and Present Danger. He, he's too old for it when he took the roles. Jack Ryan is supposed to be, I think, late 20s in the first novel, which is Patriot Games. Did he break the shield? Okay, there we go. I don't know what's going on, but all right. And, um... And it always just kind of irked me. The... That kind of... Oh. Yeah, that's always kind of arrogant that there wasn't a decent one yet. And, um... I guess the closest... Yeah, it said Hunt for Red October, but yeah, here's what okay, yeah, yeah. My favorite one would was Executive Orders. Not the, um, Steven Seagal movie. It was a, um... It hadn't been made into a book. Or, um, <laughs> made into a book. Hadn't been made into a movie. Um... I think it had the best storyline, but... I, again, it's a it's a long story. That was really, and you know, little fine details and shit don't make her the plot exposition. That's what I'm trying to get at. Get at. Doesn't make for good movie telling. You know, I think Executive Orders has some of the best action scenes out of all of the uh, the Tom Clancy novels. Hunt for Red October, or I guess it'd be some of all fears, because there are a couple of very noticeable differences. In Red October. Well, no, it's just the, the main basic storyline change there. There wasn't a whole lot of difference. The only difference differences in Hunt for Red October that stand out are um, they lost the Russians lost another submarine because they pushed the reactor too hard to try to catch up with Red October. And it ended up having a meltdown in um, the Atlantic. And I think there's something else. I think I'm forgetting. There was um, a shoot down. It uh, shoot down incident. Yeah, there was a shoot down incident between one of the naval Russian naval jets. I think it was a. Yak for not one of the yaks. I can't remember what it was. What they were using back then. One of them actually managed to um, 
shoot down an F-14 in the book. Pure luck shot, but... You know, that obviously raises tensions when you've got the entire Russian naval fleet off the coast, off the east coast. And they won't tell you why they're there. Some of all fears is also a good one, but they changed too much of it from the book to the movie. I can't really figure out why. In the book, or in the movie, um... Oh, uh, spoilers if you haven't seen some of all fears. That's the one with Ben Affleck as Jack Ryan. Which, he did a decent job, but... It just wasn't the right, wasn't the right feel. Jesus, I hate these guys. And um, I, I mean, the book did get some of the big details right. Um, it was a recovered nuke. Um. From the Seven Days War, which everyone was in the um, in the 70s, and uh, that they uh, that that they recovered and eventually used to detonate the Super Bowl. But in the movie, it was neo Nazis behind the whole thing, trying to start a war between Russia and America because you know they were the ones that crushed Nazi Germany. But in the move in the book, it was. Um, Muslim extremists. I could never quite figure out why they changed that. I mean, whose feelings were you trying to spare there? But, whatever. Um, I think another big detail, which is... I say big. Uh, I can see why they changed it at the time. Oh, I did get that blue orb. No. Nice. Um, at, towards the end of the film, uh, they... The neo-Nazis have also conspired with a Russian naval uh, aircraft carrier to uh, take a str they, you know, convince them that the U.S. has launched the first strike, and they end up launching a strike against uh, an American carrier and sinking it. And you know, this is essentially being an open prelude to to war, because now in, in the storyline of the movie. In the minds of the American government, the Russians have just launched the first strike with a nuclear device at the Super Bowl, trying to kill the president who was there, and then attacking an aircraft carrier, uh, unprovoked. In the book, um, which for some reason they changed the Super Bowl location from, uh, in the movie it's Baltimore. I'll let this continue. In the book... Sorry, in the movie version, the Super Bowl was in Baltimore. And in the movie version, it's in Denver, I think? I, I don't know why they felt the need to make that distinction, but... They did for whatever reason. So, whatever. And in the movie... Oh shit, another one of these guys. In the book... After detonating, no shit, dodge him. After the nuke goes off in Denver, um, keep in mind, in the, I think the book takes place in the mid '80s, back when the Soviet Union is still a very real thing instead of just Russia as we know it today. It's funny how I can talk about this stuff, but I can't, you know, get my your thoughts to recite the Devil May Cry history. I guess I'm just more passionate about the uh, Tom Clancy books. I love technical letters. Uh, anyway, give me a quote. Oh, shit. Getting off topic. Oh, wait. I have double trigger. <laughs> I forgot about this. Anyway, in the um, book, after the nuke is detonated, instead of being a aircraft carrier strike that Russia would be launched, it's... Um, they cross the uh, the border at the Berlin Wall. This was at the because of the book, Germany is it's the height of the Cold War. Germany is still split between East and West, so they go hard across the uh, the border, and I think damn near annihilate a um, an American tank unit because they've got you know they've got surprise on them. Russians have always dominated in sheer numbers game, but. In the book, at least, the American eventually recovers, and uh, we drive them. We drive them back hard. 
But, um... Yeah, it's just little changes like that from book to movie stuff that always... I mean, I get it, you know, changing it from... Changing it from tanks going a hard across the, uh... The, um, the border of Germany to an aircraft carrier strike. Makes sense. Ah, oh, shit. Come here, you fucking armadillo. But yeah, uh, Executive Orders was my favorite one. That's the one where, um, oh shit. Um, it's kind of a parallel to, oh shit. Parallel to uh, World War Two, <laughs> in which the U.S. has... I don't really want to spoil it. It's a really good book. Go read it. It's a very good book, and the detail Tom Clancy pours into his work is... It's really nice. Especially if you like techno thrillers. You'll, you, you fucking love his work. It's... All the little details and shit, they're awesome. But I highly recommend it. Executive Orders. And I think there's an immediate, like, literally an immediate sequel. Like, the next book in the series takes place, I think, a minute after this one. Um, Dead of Honor. Both really good books. Jesus. Such a... <laughs> this is some ugly looking drapes. Yeah, that was a weird tangent to get off. I'm playing a Devil May Cry game and talking about Tom Clancy. <laughs> I will say, I like John Krasinski as Jack Ryan in the um, series on Amazon. But that storyline is just... It's not a Tom Clancy storyline. Okay. There we go. Just been. All right, who are we who are we gonna fight now? Firebats. Huh. <laughs> oh, is it gonna explode? Hellbat. <laughs> no. Oh shit! I'm on fire. There we go. Killed your buddies. What you gonna do about it? Probably not use the flaming boots on it. It's probably not going to be super effective. Oh, shit. One of these things. Killed the little buddy there. <laughs> Parry your attack. Fucking this thing up. Yeah. 
Yeah! Wonder why it won't let me unlock any skills when I did the at the customization window at the, when it started. Because I'm not supposed to. Because this is technically in the past. I think this is like a month ago in the storyline. Is what it said. You should be able to charge up the attacks. Doesn't make any damn sense. Why is that one trembling? Oh. Damn it. I had a double jump in the first couple of games, but I guess I have to unlock that. What the hell, where do I go? Up okay. there. Damn it. Okay, I can double jump off the wall. That makes it a little easier. Does it? Yes, it does. That was a little, more than a little confusing, I think. I got the time this all. I have to cough. <coughs> Shit. Why do those look like teeth? Oh, that's disturbing. God damn it. <laughs> it's so fucking hard to tell depth perception in this. Motherfucker. Good. Did it. Yeah. Fuck you, lantern plant. I can feel it. <laughs> now I get back in the groove of the things. Yep. Say that and then immediately take a hit. That was a pretty good combo. The stab stab and then swipe by the Knight Commander. One down. Fuck you. Yeah. 
Come here. Where he got those gauntlets from? Um, let's see. And timeline-wise, it goes Devil May Cry three, one, two, four, five. It just seems weird, but don't remember which ones he got the uh, gauntlets in. So the second one. I just can't remember. I probably could customize and check shit out there, but... Yeah, but we're right here next to the boss anyway, so... Oh yeah. I'm feeling it. it... It's not gonna work. Stench and filth. <laughs> I'm impressed. Those are two of the most badass women in the world. And I only know one other guy who can defeat them. Jackpot. Hmm. Dante. How many times am I going to have to be forced to lose to this guy? Oh, shit. I thought I could slide jump under it. I think three times I've been forced to lose to this guy. <laughs> Running it upside down. Oh, this is where it came in in the intro. Okay, yeah, this is the uh, prologue. So I'm just going to be able to see it from all angles, I guess. <laughs> C rank. Yeah, I didn't do that great with Dante, but um, my excuse is that I suck. So, <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. See you guys next video.